Yo, what's good, everybody? In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how you can actually qualify for the Super Hype Cup that is starting super soon. They're doing a whole bunch of different rules and stuff on this tournament, so I'm going to be telling you guys everything that you need to know, and then also how you can actually qualify for this tournament. Real quick, folks, here starts, though. Please subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. We're trying to get 30,000 subscribers by the end of the year. I appreciate every single new person that has subbed to the channel. We've been getting, like, 50 subs a day or something crazy like that, so I appreciate every single new person that has been subbing to the channel. If you guys want to support me even more, you can do so by using code KDOG in the item shop. It's the best way to support me. It really does help me out a lot more than you guys think. Without further ado, let's get straight into this video. All right, so if you guys didn't know, the uh, Fortnite has actually just changed this tournament, so it is now open to all players regardless of arena division. You can compete in only one server, and if you advance to round two, you may not enter another Super Hype Cup. So I'm pretty sure there's going to be two separate um, Super Hype Cups. That's it. That's all there's going to be. So basically, if you make round two in the first one, you won't be able to play in round two for the second one. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. I'm guessing just like by the way that they're wording it, that's how it works. But if we actually look at how the Super Hype Cup is um, formatted now, it's really weird. The prizing is actually going to be arena points for next season, I'm pretty sure. So yeah, if we read what it actually says, like on the screen right here, it says, if you want to get a head start on your arena progression, make sure you play in our Super Hype Cups on June 18th and June 19th. You have the opportunity to earn a significant amount of hype to start the competitive season that can immediately place you into higher divisions after reset hype on June 21st. So anyone that doesn't know, arena points do reset on June 21st. That is when you're going to be actually able to play arena and all that sort of stuff so that is about a week from when i'm making this video and that is around i'm pretty sure that's two and three days before arena points reset so basically you get so much hype from this actually like if you look at the um round one and even round two like if you get first place in round two in this you get four thousand arena points so i don't know if that's split between your teammates or not but if it's not split getting four thousand arena points to start the season you're gonna have like the most points out of anybody on the region already and you're only gonna need like three thousand five hundred more points to um even have to make it to champs so if we look at the actual event details and info and all that sort of stuff obviously now um before it said this event has high prizes and exclusively available for contender and open league players but now open league contender and champion league players can all play in this tournament so it doesn't matter what arena division it is you're in you can play in this no matter what the top 50 duos from round one will advance to round two so this is a duo tournament so if you guys need a duo comment down below looking for duo just say if you've ever played in the hype cup before if you have any experience just playing tournaments and also say what region you play on because you're only able to play on one region for this tournament actually if you look at the actual timing for this tournament it's a little bit strange because it looks like it's only two hours for um round one and then round two is three hours so like that's probably going to be a six game format and round one it looks like it might be kind of like the uh quick lightning cups where there's only two hours to compete and you only have like five games to play so i mean obviously i would recommend that you do w key your first game either way since you're going to need to get a high elimination game to start off with if you want to be at a good pace to actually qualify for round two of this tournament if you're not the best w gear it is still kind of possible to make round two but it is a lot harder you're going to need to win like every single game you play almost because most of the time people that qualify they average at least around eight eliminations a game but that usually does just include them having like a 25 plus elimination game in their first game so if you have a very good first game where you get like 20 plus eliminations after that you can just play for placement it's really it's probably recommended to just play for placement after that because you're gonna need a good first game if you um, die off spawn obviously um i would say probably just try again see if you can make it um like do a good w key game again obviously and then once you get a game where you get like over 20 plus eliminations then after that you can just play for more placement because you're going to be in a lobby with like mainly pros after that so i have to do some like different math on this so my numbers are not going to be 100 percent accurate since there hasn't been like a two hour tournament and there's never been a super hype cup before so i can't get you guys the most accurate and like like strict like specific numbers or anything but i can give you guys a rough estimate of what you're going to um need to actually qualify from round one to round two in this tournament so starting off with i'm gonna go over eu on eu i would say you're probably gonna need around 70 to 80 points i'd say because in the quick lightning cups those tournaments are two no they're only an hour and a half actually so they are really short so, so that means i'm gonna have to do my math over a little bit again so i'm guessing it's gonna be 
probably around still like 110 to maybe it could be in the higher range of like 120 but i don't think it's going to go that high i'd say getting over 100 points should be your best bet for pretty much every single region i don't really want to like completely guess and try to give you guys like 100 percent accurate number because there is no number for this since there has never been a super hype cup before and there hasn't really been like two hour tournaments either so if it is a three hour tournament then i'll pin a comment in the comment section and tell you guys how many points you're going to need but i can't give you guys 100 percent accurate representation of how many points you're going to need i don't really want to mess you up too much so aim for over 100 it might be over 130 even it could get that high i'm not 100 percent sure honestly but other than that that's pretty much all for today's video if you guys enjoyed the video please subscribe to the channel if you guys are new remember we're trying to hit 30,000 subscribers by the end of the um year i appreciate every single person that has up to the channel if you guys want to support me even more please use code kidog in the item shop hope you guys enjoyed the video though i guess next time peace out He's one no. Nice. Do the finish. Nice. He's right behind you. Right there. He got cracked. Nice. All right. You don't have that much builds. Four builds. You're so fucking good! We're crazy! We're crazy! Nice! Nice! Can you try to get in, Mark? Here, get you. Nice! Can you try to get in, though? I'm in zone right here. Got you. Follow you. Oh, behind! Yeah, I'm gonna- No, 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 I'm not done this. I'm kind of dead. I can't. I'm dead. I got blocked. Behind. You got a ton of gun. Nice. No.